there, it's Carol. Welcome to TNT Tuesday. Today I'm going to show you how to make this little graduation cap. And this um, card is from my project number three in my truly tailored online card class, which is available through May 31st, 2018. Check out my website, www.carolbcrafts.com to see how you can get the class kit to make six projects absolutely free with a qualifying order using the current host code on my website. Now to make this little cap you will need to have the tailored tag punch and that actually is in the occasions catalog and it comes as a bundle with this stamp set right here, Truly Tailored. So it's the Truly Tailored bundle and you get the stamps and the punch or you can just buy the punch separately, the tailored tag punch. But it uh, makes more sense to just get the bundle because you'll get more use out of them. So you won't have to have a lot of supplies to do this um, and it's relatively easy. The, the more you do it, the easier it gets. And um, these are darling little hats and they're just um, in time for graduation coming up in May and June. So what you'll need to begin with is you'll need two pieces, three inches long, of our basic black solid twine. And then you'll need some of the uh, black metallic thread, or you could use regular thread that you have at home. You'll need a piece that's 18 inches and a piece that's 8 inches. You'll definitely want to use um, your piercing tool. You'll need some glue dots and a mini dimensional. And if you have it, the 1 8 inch circle punch that Stampin' Up! sells. Or if you have a die that has a small circle, uh, it's for the little um, button at the top of the hat. So if you have something similar, that's a 1 8 inch. If you have something similar that you can use, then you could use that if you don't have the 1 8 inch punch. So let's get started. I'll put my card aside and you can be watching for the video on how to make that card on my um, channel, Carol B. Crafts. So we're going to start by taking these together and folding them in half. And I want to make sure that they're even as much po as possible on the ends. And I think I'll zoom in so that you can see this better. Hopefully that will help you. Okay, so these ends are even as much as possible and these loops are even. So now I'm going to take my 18 inch thread and I want about 6 inches and I'm going to, that's going to be like a tail. It's going to be hanging down here. And I'm going to leave a little bit, I'm going to make my loop for my tassel. So I'm probably going to start about 3 8 inch from the top here. So I'm going to get my 6 inches of tail here back down here where it belongs. And I'm just going to start wrapping 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I've worked up. Now I'm going to work down a little bit. Whoops, my thread is getting crazy here. It's hard when you let go of it, it, it kind of springs back. So I think I went around about 24 times before. But you just want to keep going around and around until this tail is about the same length as the tail that you have left over. And you want to make sure you maintain your loops too. So when your tails are about the same length, I'm going to straighten up my loops here a little bit. Okay. You want to basically tie a knot with these two. And so you'll just bring this one over that one and through. 
and then pull them, pull the knot, the knot together like that. Pull it all the way up to your tassel. Okay, so that's what we have right now. I think I'm going to pull that up there a little bit more. Okay, so that that knot isn't going to hold our tassel. So what we're going to do is we're going to do take both of these together and then basically tie a knot. So you make a loop and then put them through the loop. And so you're going to work this loop towards your um, tassel because you want that knot to be as close to the tassel as possible. And then I'm just going to do this part like this so that it just looks neater. The closer you get it to the tassel, the, the neater it's going to look. And we're going to do that one more time around and then through. And then we're going to work our knot up to our tassel like that. So now we have two knots and that's probably going to hold it in place, keep it from unraveling. So we'll trim off the excess. Now we're going to flare out our tassel part so it looks more like this and less like little ropes. I don't want to lose my 8 inch piece of thread either. So I'm going to take this and start at the bottom and then work the twist out of each one of these. Okay, when I think that I've gotten all of the uh, the um, twisty parts untwisted, I'm going to measure this and cut this at one and uh, one and a quarter inches. So that's one and a quarter right about there. I'll probably have to cut it again to even it up, but for now, it's one and a quarter inches from there to there. Now we're going to make our hat. We need a scrap piece of basic black cardstock. We're going to cut two of these. And one of them we're going to cut again. You'll just need a piece of uh, cardstock at least a half an inch wide and a long enough piece that you can stick it in here to guide. You'll see what you need it for here in just a minute. So I'm going to put my snail, put a little bit of snail here on the end and set this on top of that snail, this bottom corner, this bottom edge right here. And then I'm going to feed it through again and what I want to do is I'm going to cut it so that I'm basically cutting off part of this. So I'm going to feed it in here and I'm going to look for it to be this corner in that corner and this point into that corner. And when, I, when I'm happy with it, I'm going to cut it. And you can see I now have the hat part and it leaves actually a pretty cool little chevron if you wanted chevrons for something.
Now with the other one that we cut, I'm going to put it up against a flat line and I'm going to get a pencil and measure a half an inch, which would be right here, and just draw temporary lines so that I can come back in and cut it. So I'm cutting off a half an inch. Now this part right here, these points, I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut from this point to that point, but I'm not going to cut straight across. I'm going to put a little bit of a curve in my cut that represents the curve in the cap, like that. And it doesn't have to be like really fancy because it's going to it's going to give the image of a cap. So and that's really all you're looking for. So now we're going to do the little tassel and button and you'll need a piercing tool and a piercing mat and you're going to find the center of this halfway from here to here, halfway from here to here and you're just going to push a little hole in there like that just big enough. You don't want it too big because you're button isn't going to be that big. Your button needs to cover that hole. So we're going to go back to our tassel, get our 8 inch piece of thread, and thread our 8 inch piece of thread through our loop. And it looks like I need to line my loops up here again. They're out of alignment. It'll be easier to put my thread through if they're in alignment. So I'm going to put my thread through that those loops and then pull it around. Make sure they're even and then I'm going to do again what I did before. I'm just going to wrap it around like that and bring it through to tie a little knot. I'll work my knot over this way so that it's near the tassel. Once I have my knot, I'm going to take, I think I'll cut those off a little bit. I'm cutting off about an inch and a half. We don't need all that. I'm going to feed both of these through this hole. So before I do that though I want to put a glue dot on this end. Not on this side but on this side. This is the top. So on the back on the right side here I'm going to put a glue dot. Kind of in the middle there like that. That's going to hold my thread in place once I put it through that hole. So I'm going to pull this through and I want my tassel to hang so that part of it is still above the edge, kind of like a real tassel would if on a, on, a, on a cap. And then once I have it where I want it, I'm just going to push that thread into that glue dot that's on the back and trim it. And then I'm going to put another glue dot on top of that just to make sure that it holds. So there I have like sealed inside those two glue dots so it's not going to go anywhere. And now I have my little tassel. And next I want to oh, kind of spread that tassel out a little bit because it looks kind of bunched up. Okay, and then next we're going to put it on here. So we need our little glue dot, our mini glue dot. And we're just going to put it up at the very top. Replace that. And then the tassel's going, going to be on the left of us. And we'll just set this on top like this. Leave about a quarter, a little more than a quarter of an inch from the edge in that corner, the tip. 
and now you have your hat. All we have left to do is put the little button on the top. So let me get it stuck to that paper. Okay, so let me get the the way we do the button is I have a piece of basic black cardstock that I have put some of our adhesive, our Sizzix adhesive uh, sheets, sheeting on. And so when I punch this now, it's going to have um, adhesive on the back of it. So I'm just going to punch a hole here and then uh, dump it out. I need to get my piercing tool, take the backing off, and just place it right over that hole. Now that looks a little long, so I could probably cut that and maybe make it a little more even as well. I don't know why it's sticking to that paper. So I think I'm going to even up the edges because right now it looks like a bad haircut. Even up those edges. Make it more straight. All right, it is ready to put on a card. Thank you for watching my TNT Tuesday. I hope that you get a chance to make some of these darling little graduation hats using the tailored tag punch. Be sure to check out my website and get the current host code uh, www.carolbcrafts.com so that when you purchase your items to make these, you can earn customer rewards. Thanks for watching. Bye now.